As the victims are mourned and laid to rest, public officials face questions about Daryl Brooks, the man charged for the deadly drive through the parade. Today, Milwaukee County's DA was asked about Brooks's bail release from jail. John Chisholm previously released a statement saying that Brooks was out of jail on an inappropriately low bond in a separate case. CBS 58's Kristen Barbarisi is live with what happened. Kristen. Daryl Brooks was out on a low cash bond despite being deemed a public safety risk. Today, the district attorney told a county board committee it happened because of an overwhelmed justice system and mistakes by an inexperienced assistant district attorney. I want to make it clear that there are explanations for what happened. Uh, there are no excuses. I'm not here to make excuses. Um, I, I own every decision that's made by any member of my office. Daryl Brooks was in jail on a $7,500 cash bond after a fight with his nephew in 2020, but his demand for a speedy trial wasn't met, so bail was dropped to $500 cash and he got out. He was rearrested on domestic violence charges in November. Bail was set at $1,000 cash. District Attorney John Chisholm says that bail was inappropriately low and a mistake. He says the assistant DA on the case has two and a half years of experience and handles domestic violence felony cases. Although a public safety assessment showed Brooks was a high risk, which usually would mean a high cash bond, Chisholm says the ADA didn't have access to the assessment and never read it. Chisholm says somehow it wasn't uploaded in the system. The volume of cases she was dealing with, given her jury trial that she was, that she was working on, she simply charged the case. She looked at the previous bail, saw that it was 500, and she doubled it. That's it. That's a mistake. That's human error. And it just set in, it set in motion a chain of events that resulted in a tragedy. And again. After the DA finished speaking to that committee, he took questions from reporters for the first time since that Waukesha tragedy. We were there. We're going to have much more about what he had to say coming up on WMLW at 9 and the CBS 58 News at 10. Live in Milwaukee, Kristen Barbarisi, CBS 58 News.